Hi guys, welcome guys, welcome! Today's May 1st, 2022, the time is 12 noon. It's about to be 12 noon guys, but I just wanted to start a little bit earlier. I'm so excited guys, welcome to my beautiful home in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I hope that you can come and join me guys. I'm gonna wait for you guys to check in with me. I just wanna make sure that you guys can hear me and you can see me fine. So let's see, do we have anyone in here now? Uh, no, not yet. I understand, I just came a little bit too early, but I just couldn't help it. Okay, so I'm in your... Hi, one person, one like. Welcome, and who is this? Is this Val? Hello, is this Val? Two people, welcome guys, yes, welcome. Oh my God, I'm so excited guys. Oh my goodness, guys, can you see what I have on my background, guys? Look at these beautiful flowers that I just got from my garden. Uh, welcome to you all. Welcome to come uh, make me a part of your Sunday. Uh, yes, I'm going to wait for more people to get in. Hi, Earth Glow. Welcome. Is this your first time here? Welcome. Yes. Three people. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Bob. Okay, guys, do you like my shirt? I decided to go um, a little bit blue today, guys. This is like a, a very cheap uh, t shirt that I got from Amazon, but it makes it looks so well. I like the detail that I have in here, you know? So, you know, it makes it look powerful. Yes! Okay, hi, Paula. Hi, Lois. Lois Brown, welcome. Okay, guys, so, uh, yes, I have everything. But you know what, guys? I, I really like, I try to um, save some money now that I'm gonna be putting out my, my, uh, my candlelight. So, you know, I go to Amazon, and I just try all the stuff. You know, this is very cheap. I think I pay twenty dollars, twenty-two dollars for this, you know. So it's it's made of polyester, so you know it's it's fine, it's good, you know. Let's see, hi man. Okay, so I, yeah, I haven't seen you in, like in, in in a little bit. Hi, Cindy, welcome. Yes, I hope everyone is having a good weekend. You know, the weather in Portland is kind of like uh, it's cloudy. It's been raining this, this whole weekend, and it's on the uh, on. Blow 60s, you know, so yeah, it's good. Lois, welcome. I hope you enjoy my, my live stream, guys. So, again, let me just show you the flowers that I got from my garden. Look at how beautiful, guys. I just cut them out right now from the tree, and this lasts forever. So, yeah, and I just put them on a, on a thick of water and just put them in here. I just want to be, no, I just want to do something different. Hi Mia, welcome darling, yes, I love blue, you know why I love blue, because uh, I don't know, it's my favorite color, you know, it's like when when I when I buy anything, you know, like, I have blue uh, baskets, I have blue everything, blue towels, you know, it's my favorite color, you know, so yeah, okay, okay guys, so uh, let me tell you, but before we start, let me just tell you about something, okay. So you know, you know, I'm very thirsty during the summer, you know, and I like to. I don't. I don't like to drink soda. I don't like to drink Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi or any of that stuff because of, of the caffeine. And I don't like to drink also the uh, the caffeine free. So, but I found this this sparkling ice. Have, guys, have you tried this? It is amazing. I just have to to let you know about this because this to me is everything, especially for the summer. So, uh, if you want a nice drink. Uh, this one has no caffeine, you know, so check it out, okay? Delicious. And I'm not sponsored or anything, you know, so. Uh, what kind of flower is that? Uh, you know what? Let me ask my husband, okay? I'll be right back. Matthew? Yeah. What kind of flower is that? Rodendron, okay. Okay, I asked my husband, he said it was a rhododendron, you know, it's, it's like a tree. So the only, the only uh, flower, like at this time of the year, and then they, they just, uh, just uh, like the regular, uh, like, like a, I think they grow very tall, you know, so yeah, rhododendron. And they come in different colors. We have it in white and we have it in also in red. So maybe next weekend, if, I, if they're still alive, I'll put uh, the red ones, okay? Hi, Moar, welcome. Okay, guys, so as you know, you know, I'm about to launch my candle line. Everything is full throttle, tr full throttle, is that what you say? Uh, but guys, you, you won't believe, 
I'm going crazy because uh, I've been testing uh, the formulation and I've been changing the, my formula so many times, you know, and I just because I just want to. I just want to get it right and I just want to be to the point that I say, okay, this is it. I'm not tweaking anything else, okay? Uh, I am very limited to do this because of the labels. The labels are already printed. So uh, the the basic notes of the of the fragrance, uh, is, it cannot be changed, you know? So the basic notes, the basic, uh, the main, um, the main player cannot be changed. So that's, so I'm, I'm working around that, you know, in making, in making my formula, my candles to be amazing. Uh, so that's what I've been doing, you know? And what comes with that is that, you know, every time that you make a change on the can on the formula, every time you tweak an oil, every time you put a little bit more oil from one to the other, you know, you have to um, test again. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, so, for example, this is uh, it's called Hidden Passion, guys. And I changed this so many times, you know, um, I am so happy. I am so happy, guys, with the C, uh, with the CT that I'm getting for, with this, and I am so happy with the uh, HT that I'm getting also, and I am so happy that I'm using soy bliss wax because soy bliss wax I only cure like for three days and then I'm ready to go. You know, it's it's so um, I always get great results using this. Okay, so this candle, guys, I reweak four times. Okay, why? Because the the original formula. Uh, <clears throat> When I wicked it first, I was using two CDN number threes. And when, when I took the formula and I tweaked it a little bit and I changed the other oil, the other oil is, is very, uh, when, you, when you deal with, with the oil that I'm dealing with, it's very tricky because it could either uh, ruin the candle or make it smell amazing. And that's what I'm trying to do. So when that happened, so I had to, so I, I looked at the candle and I said, okay, let me just go go down to the basics. So I went to double CDN number two and I tried burning that for several hours. Uh, it did not reach the melt pool in three hours. Uh, and then I kept it burning and it don't, it, it was not uh, hot enough to give me a, a melt pool. So then I decided to pull it out and then I just pulled another, another, uh, another week series. So I went to CDN number three. The CDN number three worked out at the beginning, but then I noticed that as the level of the candle went lower, the uh, the uh, the double wicks, uh, the CDN number three, were getting hotter, you know, and it kept going lower, lower until until almost half halfway. And I decided, you know what, I have to change, I have to change uh, the wicks, you know. So that's what I did. So you know, so uh, that's so now I'm using LX14. Double LX14, guys, and this is giving me life. It's giving me results. It gave me a full melt pool. You know, this is a brand new candle because I just, uh, this is a new formula, my last formula. And now I'm testing for uh, for the full melt. This gave me a full melt pool, guys. Uh, and then I just, I'm just, I'm just going to keep testing. But the double LX14 for this formulation works like a charm so far, okay? I may have to change it, but you know, like I told you before, you need to test the whole candle to see how it how it performs. Okay, guys, you have any questions for me? No. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. The next candle, the next dilemma. So this is an, another candle. Uh, it's a bigger size. This is the Evermore uh, bowl. Again, this is triple wicked. And the trick with this is also because it's triple wicked. You have to. You're, it's gonna be either too hot or not hot enough. And on this, when you have vessels like this, are this uh, this size, you have to make sure that you get a full melt pool. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the HT that you uh, should be uh, getting from this kind of a vessel. Okay. So I started doing like a triple CDN number number two, and it did not give me um, the melt pool that I. That I was looking for, I switched to LX14, also triple one. It did not give me the enough. It did not have enough power to melt everything all around. So I went to see the end number threes, a three, and that did it for me. Okay. Now you have to remember, guys. This is a very. Oh, and uh, Cindy, I'm gonna talk about that in, in in a little bit about the covers. Okay. So um, remember, you have to measure the the size depending on the size. 
depending on the size of the container, that's gonna give you the time that you need for the vessel to give you the full melt pool, okay? This container, this is the Evermore Balls from 1617. It measures five inches, you see? It's five inches. So you should be able to get a melt pool within five, in, uh, within five hours, okay? Now, if, it's in, if, it, if you start bending this and you are on the three hour mark and you see that it's not really doing anything mo much more, and you're not gonna get the uh, the full melt pool in five hours, you're better off extinguishing the candle. And listen to what I did, guys. I took out a heat gun to make sure that all the surface was even. I pulled out the wicks and I reinserted new wicks, okay? So, uh, and then you just wait until everything solidifies and then you test it again. Yes. The CDN number three is work great, okay? But again, it's about the formulation, okay? So Cindy was asking me about this. Okay, these covers in here, these covers are from 1617.com. This uh, I use when I cure the candles. Uh, these are, this one is the 5.31 inch cover, okay? They sell, it, they sell this on packs of 10, and I believe they are like $7.10 for 10 of these. And these ones, This is the 4.13 inches plastic cover. I use this to uh, also put on on my Everball uh, on the cylinder, guys. And I, and I always cure them with this on top, okay? So this is something good to have, you know? Uh, you have to be careful because this does not, uh, it, it just sits on top, okay? So when you tell the people, when you sell the candles, if you, if you want to use this kind of lid, make sure that they, they don't grab it from the top, okay? Make sure that they grab it from the from the middle, okay? But these are great for you to cure the candles, you know. And uh, of not all the otherwise, you can also put the the dust uh, the dust covers that they have. So go to sixteen seventeen and just check out uh, the different covers they have. But these are great. I'm telling you, it's like every time that I open this, the CT is amazing, amazing guys. Okay, guys, do you have any questions? Uh, hi Paula, no, I never use the that technique because what I do is I do wickless candles. So I just, for example, I make a candle, I make a candle and I don't put any wicks because I know it's gonna have to be tested. So, you know, so just pull it out and put the new ones in, you know, and when you get the right combination, when you then you know, okay, this is the kind of candle that I want to make. And then you make another one and then you just put the right wick. But I'm not going to be wasting my time putting a wick on, on you know, if I'm going to be testing for a uh, for week, uh, for week, for week, uh, how do you call it? To see which wicks is going to work for the candle. Hi, Marina, welcome. Yes. Yes, the reason why I never use the Apple Core is because I find it very... Um, Time consuming, you know, to week uh, to week change the week, and also you have to remember that if you're gonna change the week, you're gonna need to uh, make sure that the week tab adheres to the bottom of the vessel. Now, some people use a Q-tip with alcohol and do that and clean it up. To me, that's too much trouble, you know. So that's what I do. Oh my God, guys, this is the uh, the new oil from 1617. You wish it's giving me life. I'm telling you, the HD on this, it's amazing. Guys, do you have any questions? Okay. So let's see. Uh, let's see what else I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys. Okay, so these are the different week series that I use for testing, you know? I wanted to try and make a, and use a single wick on the Evermore cylinders. I tried many configurations and it didn't work. You need something stronger. You need a, a double wick, okay? So this, these are the CDN number two. These are the CDN number threes. These are the ones that I use for, uh, for the balls. And then these are the ones that I use. The LX14, these are the ones that I, uh, that I use. 
Uh, Lois, so you use weekly scandal. That's good. You know, I was talking to someone. Uh, I, I, I was, I was telling someone on uh, on the Facebook group uh, DIY beginners to advance. You know, somebody was somebody was mentioning that they were gonna they were gonna do a uh, uh, wedding favors. You know, for the wedding, and they were showing me like a very tiny uh, vessel made of glass. I'm asking questions about um how which week will you uh, work for this will uh, use for this and I just told her you know uh, what do you do with weekless you know I, I think it's gonna be something different and people are gonna like that more especially because if you have a, a small container and you're not gonna burn it you have to remember that when you make melts you can add more uh, fragrance oil to the wax okay guys so try that so then when they open the small uh, container guys and they smell the beautiful scent you know uh people are gonna want more believe me so think about that you know for for uh, for wedding favors you know and stuff like that you know that's a good idea to give uh, your clients you know also it's very safe they don't have to deal with a candle. You don't have to do candle testing and wick testing. You know, this is going to be a win-win for everyone. And you're going to make a lot of money. Yes. Oh, you saw that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, we all have to find a way to be different, uh, uh, to bring something new for the people, you know? So that's why I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm thinking from a candle line, guys. It's going to be epic. So you just have to wait and see what I'm going to be doing. So this is going to be revolutionary and I think I'm gonna be on the right track yes Paula you're gonna love the weakness testing and it's gonna be so convenient you know look take take something like this you know this is like a how you call it how you call these things use it for the nails you know for the and then you just take the candle Take the weakness candles and they just make a hole, just poke a hole, you know? And that's what you do. Make sure that you place uh, the wicks right in the center, guys. Because it's all on the on, on the wick placement, whether you're gonna be successful or not, okay? That's the one thing that really drives people nuts, you know, that sometimes they um thinking that they're doing the right and uh, the right thing, you know, and just placing the wicks either too, too close to the glass or too too far away, you know? So yeah, you have to be careful on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, TW30 is the best thing for the tires. Yeah, yeah, and you can add much more, much more to the TW30. Yes. But also, you have to remember guys, uh, because you're gonna be doing weekly candles, uh, you're not gonna be handling the wax, so you can use any wax you want because it's gonna be in a small container. So you know it's gonna be you know great. Yeah, a skewer, yes, yes, a skewer, yes. Mhm. Mm Guys, I have 19 people here. Can you please give me a like for the, so the video does better on on the YouTube channel? I use it. I I. I got the TW30 long time ago. I don't re re I don't remember where I got it from. But if you go to Google and and just do you know TW30 wax, you know you'll get a results. Or anyone here, anybody here, can you advise Judith to see where can and she find the TW30? Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure people here know. Yes. Okay, let's see what else. That's it, guys. Oh, California Sandal. Is that the name of the place? Oh, California Candle Supply. Yes. Yes. I have to say, California Candle Supplies. Yeah, I remember that a long time ago. Yeah, I know, I know. Hi, Miss Dramatica. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. So, guys, uh, you want to share with us any any discoveries, any any new trends that people should be following now for the summer? 
Anything new that you, know, you want to share? Yes, different angle. This way I can see. So Serenity Candles, where are they located? Do you know? I never heard from them before. I don't use Vi I used to use Vibar when I used to use uh, PB600. I think, let me get it, hold on. It's right over here. Okay, so for those of you that, for those of you that use Vibar guys, you know there are, there are two kinds, yeah, there are two kinds, there's this kind in here, and then there's the other, there's this other kind, okay, so there are two kinds, okay, so you have to go and find out what kind of wax you're using, I don't remember now which wax takes what, take which one, okay. This is the one that I used to use with uh, problem PB600. So if you guys use PB600, this is the one that you have, that you need to order. Remember, uh, 260. And this one I got for Nature's Garden. And this is the website. Look, can you see the website? Okay, candleprod.com. And this is what I use: one teaspoon per one pound of wax. So if you no, these are not crystals. These are like pellets. Uh, these are like pellets. It's like a, uh, it's a wax. It's a very hard wax. They are no crystal. It's like a very, uh, very waxy. I don't want to drop them. They're very waxy. Okay. Let me see if you can see this. Can you see? It's like a, yeah. They're very hard. I don't know what they do. I know they are supposed to enhance. They're supposed to enhance the uh, the, the potency of the fragrance oil. Uh, I used to add it on mine, uh, and and it used to work most of the time, but not always. You know, sometimes I use too much. If you use too much, it's gonna kill the candle, and you won't be able to get any HD whatsoever. Okay? Yes. Uh, the bishy scent, yes. What is your favorite bishy scent? I love, um, I love Black Sea from Candle Supply. I mean, from Candle Science. That's my favorite one, Black Sea. I, I like sea salt also, and I like sea salt, uh, sea salt and, uh, and orchid also from Candle Science. But I'm trying to find something with a, um, with a with a suntan, uh, like copper tone. Do you guys know of any good fragrance that has that, that kind of notes, you know, like with a suntan uh, oil? Because a lot of people have been asking me that, you know, what is the, uh, the best fragrance or the beachy scent that has like a, a copper tone, you know, or Hawaiian Tropic or, you know, one of those, uh, fragrance, uh, how do you call it, suntan oils? Because that's what people remind of, you know, of, of the beach. Mm. Okay. okay guys sea salt and orchid yes it's beautiful but I have I have a question does it smell the same when you're burning the candle because when I smell it out from the bottle I kind of like uh, I don't get too much of the sea salt so yeah, pink sands, sea salt, and orchid is one of my favorite. Okay, uh, the pink sands. What? Who makes pink sands? Is that also from Candle Science? Pink sands. And when you guys are plumeria, yes, she's a plumeria. Yes, I like that. Beautiful. And Jamaica make crazy. Yes, of course. Okay. Serenity candles, Sarah Bell, soy wax melts. Okay. Okay. Guys, when you use Mitramatica, when you use the 
the pink sand, uh, the pink sands and the sea salt and orchid what's the percentage that you use do you use 10 percent or do you use more and do you mix it okay i see oh my how many coconut that's a good idea who's uh, who makes that who makes that oh i think i know i think that's from candle science Oh, that's a good idea to add Palo Santo. Yes, you see? So you add from Copper Tone from Just Scent. Oh my God. Yes, thank you so much. Just Scent. Okay. Okay. And then modify. Thank you so much, guys. You gave me a lot of feedback. 10%? Okay, great. Just sent. Okay. Midwest. Okay. And what about uh, coconut? Coconut scents. What's your favorite coconut scents? Besides mahogany coconut, I think mahogany coconut is from Candle Science, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Just Scent and I'm gonna I'm gonna order the copper ton. Okay, guys, and I'm gonna make a candle and I'm gonna report back to you guys. Okay. So it's called Just Scent. Okay. So look for a video on that, guys. Uh, oh, oh, they do also. Thank you, Judith. Okay, so they also have Joe Malone. Uh, okay. Coconut Santal. Who makes that, Miss Romatica? That sounds interesting. Bamboo and coconut as well. I don't like bamboo. That's the only thing. Hi, Rashida. Welcome. It's okay. Miss Romatica, Coconut Santal. Who makes that? I love the combination. Yes. I'm taking candle signs. Okay. So, guys, I'm taking suggestions for beachy type ascents for the summer. So I'm taking all your suggestions, guys. So Candle Science has a lot of them. Guys, I have a question for you. Uh, do you find that Nat Champa sometimes smells like a church? You know, if you use it by itself, it doesn't doesn't that give you the, like the, uh, the church uh, vibes? You know, I don't know. You know, uh, sometimes it's I love Nat Champa. But you know what? It kills. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate it. You know. Sometimes I think, okay. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of feedback. Coconut Santa. I'm gonna get something. Yes. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? You're or or uh, you're you're giving me all this feedback. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna make a video. From all these suggestions that you're giving me now, guys, at least two of the candles. I'm gonna make coconut santa, and I'm gonna make the other one copper tone. Okay, so far. So let me just order the oils today. Hopefully, I will get them during the week. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys, more likes, please. I have 24 people, only 13 likes. Pour your candle. Is that the, the name of the website? Young Coconut is called? I'm taking notes, guys. Ooh, Cayman Sands. Yeah, very exotic, Mia. Thank you, darling. Cayman Sands. Wow. The name, the name itself gives me a lot of uh, 
Woof. It's called Young Coconut? Okay. Okay, guys. So I got so many good ideas. Thank you all. Okay, so if you don't have any more, guys, pour the candle supply. Okay. Okay, Sai, can you tell me any other scents from pour the candle supply? Because I've never heard from them. And I would like to, you know, to just to try them. Okay, you did. What kind of scents do you have? What is your website? You have. Uh, it's called Huntington Beach. Your website. Is that is that is that the link Huntington Beach? I tell you what, Judy. Can you send me an email and um, with your link? The only way to harden uh, soy bliss is with beeswax. I I find soy bliss to be hard enough for me. I don't know. I never tried beeswax, you know, so I can I couldn't tell you. Hi, fancy, welcome. Okay, so you don't have a website yet. Okay. I'll wait for you, you know, just keep me updated, send me an email whenever you, uh, your website is up, okay? Oh, thank you. Which, ro uh, which red are you talking about? Are you talking about the candle? About the flowers? Or the candle? This is the uh, iridescent. No, I find, I find soy bliss to be hard enough. You know, you have to remember soy bliss wax has uh, a small amount of food grade paraffin added to it. So it's not, it's not, it's not really like soft, like, like regular uh, soy. 10%? Mm -hmm. Does it work for you when you add the 10% beeswax? I never try. Will that affect the, uh, the HD on the candle? You know, maybe maybe it would be good for people that lives uh, uh, in Florida. You know what, Mister Matica? Maybe you can try adding some TW thirty. I don't know if that will work. Also, yeah, it's all. You know what, guys? We all learn. We all learn through testing. You know, and I think you know it's it's, it's a good idea. For all of us, um, and I'm telling you this, for, um, guys, I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. It's such a great idea for you to experiment, to find your perfect candle for you, to find your perfect mix of oils, you know. Uh, I'm going to make a video uh, also on how to how I mix oils uh, on ratios, okay. I'm going to tell you how do I do to test the oils first, um, how to tweak the formula for your own special candles that nobody else has. And that's how you're gonna keep your own, uh, your own brand. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. That would be great if it helps. Yeah. Okay, the uh, I'm kind of um, will the big wax change the the color of the wax? Will it turn it yellow? You know that's also another thing that you have to think of. You know, will it turn the wax the candle yellow? I'm pretty sure you only add ten percent. It won't, but you know it's that's one of the things that you could uh, expect when that can you know when mixing that kind of waxes to, together. Yes. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna leave the. Uh, no, it won't. Okay, guys. I'm gonna finish the the live stream here because my husband and I need to go to the garden center. We order some plants. And oh, they have a white one also. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, so guys, I'm sorry that I'm gonna have to do, uh, that I'm gonna end this today because I need, we need to go pick up some plants at the garden center and today they close early. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm gonna be, like I told you before, I'm gonna be making a video of these beautiful suggestions that you, you're giving me, okay guys? And I'm gonna, Okay, so uh, which uh, which person uh, is is this from Porter also? Oh, my email address is down on the description box. It's uh, mycandleromance at gmail dot com. Okay, okay, guys, take care of yourself. I'll see you next Sunday. Actually, you know what? Next Sunday is gonna be Mother's Day. Uh, I'm gonna let you know whether or not I'm gonna be uh, live streaming because I know you're all gonna be busy and I don't want you know I want you to be with your family. So if next week is uh, Mother's Day, I'm gonna take a break. So I'm gonna be over uh, on the other week, okay, guys? So I'm gonna let you know during the week, okay? But most likely, if it's Mother's Day next Sunday, I'm not gonna be doing a, a live stream. So I wish you all guys a happy Mother's Day. That is, of course, if it is the next weekend and. I'll see you in the next live stream. Okay, guys. Thank you all so much for all your input, all your um, feedback, guys. And again, thank you for coming. Have a nice week. Yes! <laughs>